Good morning everyone. You can see I've got quite a mess going here on my side porch. The other day I dug this, um, <laughs> oh what brand is it? Aerospeed fan out of the trash at work. I honestly think it was a neighboring house that just kind of dumped her crap in our dumpster, but nothing you can do about that. But this fan looked brand new. I have no idea who it was made for or what Aerospeed is a store brand for. I'll probably figure it out either from the comments or just watch. I'll see it today or tomorrow in a store. Ah, and you, huh, Intertech, whatever that is. Anyway, I'm rambling now, but it looked to be in perfect condition, but it didn't run. I mean, the blades were just kind of, but if you spun them, they'd spin freely. And you can see there's already a little bit of rust there. I'm sure it's been rained on already. Well, you can probably already see from this dodgy looking wiring that I already had a hunch. My hunch was that the capacitor was had gone bad, and you can see it's bulged right there. So I thought, you know something, I bet it's just a capacitor, and I knew I had a donor fan for said capacitor. This is an old... Uh, a wind machine it's quite dirty it has spent several years running 24 7 down in the basement anybody who knows I have a very wet basement so I'm always trying to keep air moving down there so I took it apart and rated what and the motor on that was seized and I rated the capacitor out of it and hooked it up to this real quick for a quick test and it works so I'm gonna whip out the soldering iron and this heat shrink tubing and solder that in permanently like and then I'll have me a free box fan and then I'll probably want to give it a quickie little bath and of course I've got the blades and uh, switch and stuff out of that fan to fix some other fans I got around I've got a fan in the living room that's literally just hot wired to run on high all the time because the switch is broken I can probably put the switch out of that in there so woohoo so back in a few minutes well, I've got the replacement capacitor soldered and heat shrunk into place. Uh, some of the wires kind of pop through the heat shrink, so I wrapped this in electrical tape just to be safe. So, time to mount this capacitor up, figure out how to mount it. This could be a little interesting, but yep, yeah, there we go. And then mount out the blades and see what happens. I'm not kidding, I had a random cat show up on the porch where I was doing this work and I don't want the little guy to get hurt or girl I don't know which and not to mention the fact the neighbor who I've seen the cat hanging around with is not a very nice lady I don't want him to get hurt for more than just the obvious reason I will say the stock wiring on this fan is uh, very nicely done I do like the way they've uh, just nicely heat shrunk it and it calls for a four microfarad capacitor which is what I took out I actually put in a five microfarad because that's what I had laying around my understanding is you can fudge on your capacitor values a little bit with these little motors and this motor eventually goes bad due to the wrong capacitor I dug the fan out of the trash so what it's not gonna catch fire or anything so anyway Look at that, a free fan. I used a part out of a completely like, junk fan and, oh, random cat. Kind of cutting the celebration short, but a part out of a completely like, junk fan and. Got this working, so I gotta put the grills back on and put this to use. Well, you can see this fan is working perfectly. After having that new capacitor put in, at least as well as a crappy, cheap, modern fan can work. I know I've seen that Aerospeed before. I want to say Dollar General, maybe Orschelin. I don't know. But we got this fan. Now, this has been a, I believe I've made featured this in videos before as a bit of a Franken fan. It's had several different blades on it. Right now it actually has a blade off of a little newer Edison or Toastmaster. But it's the 
you know, it looks identical. It's just the wrong color. It's actually a metal frame with a metal back but a plastic grill and the and the switch on this thing uh, several years ago it popped down that out of here and it got hit by the blades and was totally well what do you call it obliviated so I've just had it wire nutted to the high fan speed so it would come on when it was plugged in well I've got this little switch out of the out of that wind machine I took apart and you can see it works fine so while these wires are meant to just pop right into the switch I'm actually gonna solder it because these wires are kind of have gotten a bit on the short side and you can see I'm not using the neutral wires in the switch so I might not even I may not even hook those up that's just one more port of point of failure so anyway there's a nice shiny solder connection keen observers will note that I forgot to slide the heat shrink tubing on first so I'll have to settle for electrical tape nothing wrong with that just not quite as pretty and neat hard to see but all the wiring is all soldered and heat shrink together well in the new case of the neutral electrical tape so it's uh, it's all insulated and safe. I've tied them up out of the way as well as I could. Couldn't find my little skinny zip tie, so I had to use some big ones. But I've tested it. It runs. So let's stick this back in the window and give her a good run up. All right. The sun's kind of facing in, which is not good for camera shots, but. I just took the knob off the wind machine and stuck on here just to make it easier to change speed. It doesn't match. I might give it a rattle can job at some point, but eh, probably not. It works. So, the color doesn't matter. These blades off the wind machine are absolutely gross. Time to fix that. Those blades are looking much, much better now. And now the subject of what these blades are going to be used for. I've got this Lakewood. You can see the blades have become brittle and have basically obliterated themselves. So I'm going to put the crappy China blade on here and while it won't be as good as original, at least it'll be a fan. So yes, that wind machine will donate parts to fix three fans. A big shout out to Harley Badger for showing the technique of getting these Lakewood blades off. Well, that was easy. Yanked off the old blades, put on the new ones off the wind machine. Put the grill back on. And when I got this fan, it was missing the rear grill, which contributed to its uh, the blades breaking. I had this off another broken China Pride Lakewood down in the crossbait. Well, wait, wait. I don't know if it was China Pride, but it's off of a, one of these super thin, crappy ones. It's actually a front grill, but it was down in the basement pretty filthy I gave it a good scrubbing so my kitchen sink is filthy again I had to cut this little bit out for the power cord fits so it's got a grill on both sides now so one broken fan gave brought three back into their former glory awesome